not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey guys, so if you're a gamer, you probably know how important high and stable FPS are in games, particularly in competitive games. Your skill in these competitive games cannot actually fully shine if you're being held back by the drawbacks of your PC. The difference of even a few milliseconds can mean the difference between victory and loss. So it is really important to get the highest FPS, lowest ping and the lowest latency possible in all kind of competitive games. Today I'm going to be talking about ways by which you can increase the FPS you get from your current PCs. So I'm going to be talking about both free and paid methods to increase FPS with the current setup that you have. If you do not want to spend any, any kind of money on these tips that I'm going to give you, you may as well skip the paid part. Let's start with the free methods. Step 1. Reduce the graphic settings in-game. Some people play games at the highest settings, highest graphic settings possible. If you want to get the highest FPS possible in your current setup, you need to reduce the overall graphics that you have set. For example, taking Fortnite, in Epic settings in my laptop, I get about 60 FPS. When I dial it down to the low settings, I get about 100 FPS. The same is the case for every other games. So if you want to get higher FPS, reduce the in-game graphics. Step 2 would be a combination of 3 settings that you want to change right now. 1. Turn off record replay. 2. Turn off vSync. 3. Turn off motion blur. So in Fortnite, you have a setting called the record replay setting. What it basically does is it records your gameplay. This might be useful for some players who like to check out their replays and find out the mistakes that I've done. But if you are not getting the FPS that you should be getting, you should turn off these settings because it does tax on your graphics card. Vsync is a setting that reduces the amount of screen tears that appear on your monitor. If you don't have any screen tears, there is no need to turn on this setting as it will reduce FPS. If you do not, if you do have it, I recommend turning it on. Motion blur does nothing but harm your gameplay because whenever you turn around, the screen gets all blurry and you will not see the opponents coming. And well, that's basically why you should turn off motion blur. Step three: reduce the resolution in game. Usually, people play at 1080p, that is 1920 by 1080 resolution. I recommend you reduce the resolution to 1600 by 900 as the difference in the visuals won't be much noticeable and the increase in FPS will be highly noticeable. For the people who still do not reach the target of the FPS, you may want to reduce the resolution to 720p. Some people will not like the look of 720p and they may want to change back. It's your preference. You may want to choose either FPS or resolution. Now the former steps I talked about were of the in-game settings. Now I'll tell you how to optimize Windows for gaming. Step 4. Turn off Windows Defender and other anti-malware or anti-virus services. Windows Defender and the anti-malware applications usually take up a lot of the PC's performance. They keep running in the background and hinder the actual performance of the PC. Step 5 would be to overclock your PC. If you use a laptop, I do not recommend overclocking. Although if you do have a desktop PC, overclocking may be the way to go. You can download MSI Afterburner and get some guidelines through YouTube about how to do the overclocking. Step 6 would be to ensure maximum airflow to your PC and reduce the room temperature as much as you can. If you live in a place which is usually hot, and if you have an air conditioner, you can use the air conditioner and keep the temperature as cool as possible so that your PC can get the maximum airflow and can be as cool as possible. Step 7. Make sure that you are using Ethernet cables. If you're using Wi-Fi, the fluctuations can cause the FPS to drop. If you guys are enjoying this video, a sub would be massively appreciated. We just passed the 100 subscriber mark and I hope that you guys will keep supporting me until I reach my next milestone. Next, I will be talking about the paid methods to increase FPS, but keep in mind this is only for laptops, not for the desktops. Step 1 will be to use cooling pads. Cooling pads are devices that provide more airflow to your laptop so as to reduce the temperature. This is a relatively more cheap method to increase FPS. By the way, if you do not have a thermal throttling laptop, this won't work much. Step 2. Change your thermal pace. 
If you've been using the laptop for one or more years, it will be a good idea to change your thermal pads. Depending on the condition of the current thermal paste, you might find a very small to a very high increase in FPS. There are many brands that offer good quality thermal paste. I recommend Arctic Silver. The FPS also depends upon the internet connection which you have. If you have a really bad internet connection, the FPS will also reduce. So get a good internet connection, that will be the third step. Do your research and find out which ISP provides the highest speed and lowest ping available in the area which you live and get that. Step 4 would be to get an external GPU for your laptop. If your laptop has an integrated GPU or if it's a weak GPU compared to your CPU, you might want to get an external GPU for this. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, press the like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more videos like this. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys later. Peace.